Hey, 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 good morning traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 28th, 2019. So my goodness, yesterday we had kind of a topsy-turvy market again with a lot of indecisiveness. Now, we started off the day uh, looking higher. We ended up selling off, um, completely filling the gap of the day before. And then we happened to catch a bit of a market rally. And that rally pushed us all the way back to just leave us another day of indecisiveness in the chart. Now, duck on it, we still don't have um, too much resolution of what's going on here. And as you can see, we're still technically in a Dow downtrend here in the diamonds or the Dow, but we're also in this little uptrend. We're building this little wedge pattern, and who knows how long we'll wander around in this wedge pattern. What we do want to pay attention to, though, is the fact that we are still below price resistance here in the Dow. And if we do happen to um, rally, we have to deal with those levels up here um, to the top side. So resistance above, a little bit of sketchiness here in the market. And if we were to drift lower, we do have some support right here. And of course, uh, the bigger support um, right down through here. So we'll want to watch that if we start to sell off to uh, moving down. Let's take a look at the SPY here real quick. SPY, SPY um, struggling. Um, just kind of an interesting uh, pattern here. Bit of a evening star type pattern here on the chart and right below price resistance. But here's the thing about um, the SPY is it's just kind of hovering. It's hovering between this support level right in here. Oops, I should redraw that. Draw that, drew that incorrectly. Uh, hovering between the support level right in here and the resistance levels up here that we have to deal with in the chart. So it's really kind of ambivalent. It just doesn't know what it wants to do. A little bit of resting, a little bit of consolidating, and um, well, an indecisive uh, uh, price action here just kind of leaves us wondering what comes next in the spy um, as you can see we still we still are holding that um, possible uptrend we just need those buyers to step in here someplace to really confirm that still holding on to that but if we start to drift lower and if we were to break below these lows it could get really ugly really fast here for the market if um, the SPY decides to join in um, on a bearish party with the Diamonds and IWM. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully this hopes up, uh, holds up here. But if we were to drift lower and break that low, um, watch for some quick selling to come here in the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the Qs still very, very strong, holding up very well. Got a little, got a little ugly for a little bit yesterday, but that bounced back up holding right here in this price support area and that's just exactly what we want to see holding it up and also holding within its trend still so we're looking pretty good still here on um, the nasdaq and we can see um, that we still have a nice uptrend in play here to pay attention to so all we need is some uh, bullish signals here to start pushing this higher and who knows we might get that today um, with some of the news coming out we'll talk about that in just a second let's take a look at IWM IWM this poor guy just really struggling in here doesn't really know um, where it is or what it wants to do. It's like it's dazed and confused. A little bit of chopping around here. Um, you can see we had that hopeful uptrend that started right there with that nice bullish candle, but that was just beat to death last Friday. And now we're wandering here, uh, trying to figure out what to do. And as you can see, we're still technically in a downtrend. So any rally into here, we still have to worry about the possibility of failure on that downside and if this were to slip lower if we dip back below these lows here it could spell some bad news 
here for IWM. So keep a close eye on it. Um, a lot of things um, kind of up in the air right now in the market. Let's take a look at the um, VIX. That VIX took a uh, really started to rally yesterday and it looked like we were kind of um, getting ourselves into some trouble here. But um, that rally yesterday pulled us back here fairly good um, on the VIX. And what's important is it kept us below this uh, price resistance level in this chart. And by the way, that price resistance level runs back here quite a ways. And that, that level right there is something we want to pay attention to. We don't want to get above that, hold it as support, and then see buyers stepping in. Now, we obviously have another price resistance level right in here, and that continues to extend out this way. So we still have a little bit of extra protection in there. But if we start to fail and hold above these levels, that's where the concern would really come in. We want to see that VIX continue to slide south. And, um, well, who knows? Who knows? There's a lot on the plate for the market today to have to chew on. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see it's not providing us really any clues here. We're kind of hovering around this mid range, very, very choppy as you can see, just up and down and up and down, whipping back and forth. But what this does tell us is that we have plenty of room for an upside move and we have plenty of room for a downside move. So not really giving us any clues as to potential direction, kind of like the overall market right now. Let's um, take a look and spend just a moment on what's going on in the news. Well, first off, um, economic calendar here. Economic calendar, we have a pretty busy day with the GDP number and jobless claims. First thing right here at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. GDP is the current consensus is for that to have uh, to shrink, that the GDP is to fall slightly. And jobless claims are expected to increase slightly based on the consensus. If those two things were to come into play it would be interesting to find out whether or not that would add to the worries of um, economic slowdown we'll have to watch that pretty closely at 8 30 this morning also in the news last night you know we have a 10-year treasury yield um, not looking so good um, where is that I keep forgetting that ticker oops Got a spell too. Um, there we go. This is this is the one I want. Here's my ten-year Treasury yield. That ten-year Treasury yield continues to decline as these bonds start to show that inversion, that possible inversion, where the shorter term. Uh, longer term start to invert we could have some issues here in the market and that's been a struggle here the last few days as uh, markets have been kind of watching um, these bond markets and being just a little bit shaky so we have that going on and last night Asian markets responded bearishly to this news we were the futures were heading lower everything was looking pretty pretty sad uh, because of uh, the bond yield inversion um, worries and concerns then um, we had news that there is an apparent breakthrough, at least rumors of apparent breakthrough, um, U.S.-China trade negotiations. Then futures responded and bounced right back up and went higher. We were actually positive just a little while ago and looking pretty good. But, of course, um, everything changes 
and um, with so much for the market to chew on this morning the market's not really sure how to digest all this information and as I'm speaking right now Dow futures are pointing to a 33 point decline they're bouncing around quite a bit so there's a lot for the market to digest today a lot for the market to chew on and even though I only pointed out a couple items here on that economic calendar please keep in mind we have some Fed speakers in here as well we have pending homes sales at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, home sales has, has been one of those um, issues where we're just seeing a little bit of a decline in um, those home sales. So um, here's another Fed speaker at 1130. We've got a lot going on here today um, in, um, in the calendar. And as you can see, we have the Fed balance sheet and two more Fed speakers here, and then one after the close. It is a Fed parade today. Hopefully, um, nothing gets said to spook the market. Um, it wouldn't take a whole lot with all of the bond moving around to really kind of spook the market. We have a full calendar today um, of earnings reports, so kind of keep an eye on that. We have lots and lots of earnings reports today. So a busy day for the market to deal with and a lot for the market to digest and truly a full plate uh, that, uh, well, with all the indecisive indecisiveness in the market, I would like to say um, I've got a handle on this, but I got to be honest, I think anything is possible, guys. I, I, we could easily, um, with the China trade negotiation um, if if news comes out on that, that we're nearing a completion of that deal, we could see the market just take off with that and, and move higher. Um, we could also uh, very easily see GDP number and, and, and trade um, um, bond yields start to drag us lower. There's just so many things that the market's trying to deal with and quantify uh, for prices. So we're going to just really have to stay focused on price action, remain flexible, um, watch real closely uh, because we could we could take off in either direction here pretty easily. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I really, really appreciate those who do that. Clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving comments helps these algorithms show these videos to more people. You guys are directly responsible for the growth of this channel. And I truly Truly, truly want to thank um, everyone who takes the time to leave a comment. We just crossed over 500 videos last night, uh, posting two videos, just kind of getting caught up on stuff that I had uh, had had not gotten posted um just crossed over 500 videos so sell uh this is 501 and um thank you everyone for participating and supporting the channel so with that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for potential trades now once again, I want to make sure and remind everyone that anytime I mention a stock, um, that these are just ideas for your watch list, not necessarily a recommendation to buy or sell, um, just ideas for you to keep an eye on and to watch closely uh, for potential uh, in those trades. So first off, I, I want to bring your attention to JD. JD. Uh, JD is going to be very much affected by um, trade negotiation uh, discussions. And if those start to improve, JD is one of those companies that could easily respond substantially higher. So keep an eye on this. You can see this has popped through this um, area right here. It moved up nicely yesterday, but ended up pulling back. This morning, it looks like it's indicated to open just slightly higher um, this morning. So kind of keep an eye on JD. Baba might be another place to look. Now, Baba's been struggling here. You see, I had this box placed around um, the price action, and I was hoping it would hold in that box, but you can see we've slipped back to test this area of support. Baba is another one of those that could respond very well if we do get 
a U.S.-China trade deal. So think about that. Kind of just keep it on your list. It's not ready to trade. It's but it's certainly one we could pay attention to and and watch let's take a look at roku 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 failing a lower high roku has the potential of a short trade if the market continues to show us a little bit of bearishness giving us a little down move roku is right there at the point where we have a failure this is a pattern that we will um, often describe in hit run candlesticks and right way options as a bearish h pattern you can see that bearish h coming into play and how that could affect and push um, Roku right on down and you can see we get those patterns in these breakdown there's that bearish H uh, forming right here in that pattern so that bearish H pattern kind of showing itself here and giving us a little bit of pause here on Roku for a potential push lower of course if we get some really good news today and the market responds uh, very bullishly um, if this were to pop off of this area give us a good bullish candle off of this area that could wipe out that entire impression of a short so watch that closely um, ACB ACB I mentioned yesterday and doggone it it continued to slip down I was hoping it would kind of hold on to this price support did not do that so I'm kind of expecting this to pull back here into its trend but these cannabis stocks have been holding up pretty well so we might want to keep an eye um, on this chart for future trade reference uh, right now into that uh, position uh, Zynga Zynga is uh, this really nice trending chart and this stock is pulling back here moving sideways over to its trend um, I would watch this area right in here there if that can pop up and uh, move higher for a potential trade keep an eye on that chart so lots of you know kind of two-sided on these um, ideas um, back and forth you can see pan w that was looking like it was ready to go higher more rest consolidation lots of that going on some of the defensive stocks are still looking very good like procter and gamble holding up very nicely in its trend png looking good any more rest or consolidation in here really only adds to that uh, potential growth to the upside this is a nice breakout blue sky above maybe keep an eye on png so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and if you're struggling as a trader i want to encourage you to just stick with it don't give up on yourself i know this stuff is hard and i know um, getting in there and um, continuing to work when the market's not um, showing you any progress is very very difficult do me a favor watch some of those videos on uh, that I have on my channel the two I posted yesterday are really important videos for helping you learn to follow simple um, support resistance and trend if you can learn to read a price action of a chart you can trade anything guys absolutely anything so uh, maybe watch those videos make sure to give them a thumbs up and, and a comment but watch those videos because they might be very helpful in helping you get uh, uh, well slow down and really focus in on what the chart is telling us and learning to follow that chart rather than trying to predict or do any some any of those odd things uh, that folks do with you know a whole bunch of goofy indicators thinking that we can predict the market um, fact of the matter is we can't do that and the best we can do is learn to follow that price action and put the odds in our favor with a technically strong chart so with that everyone have an awesome day i want to want to wish you all the best we'll talk to you all very very soon bright and early friday morning take care now